thought I'd uh, check some uh, deblocking plugins and uh, see how they compare to Neat Video Denoiser. Um, so you can see that we've got quite a lot of artifacts here. It's quite bad. And if I have a look at how neat video with high noise reduction settings solves it, then you can see that it looks excellent. The only minus here is that it does kind of like look foggy. You can see that it's blurring quite a lot. So the rain is basically gone in a way, maybe. You can see that it's tricky to see the rain itself. Um, so anyway, it it um, it really depends on what you need. So again, just testing here how how Neat Video works. And by the way, you can use uh, Neat Video in DaVinci Resolve Lite. So you buy Neat Video for a hundred bucks and install it via the uh, OpenFX plugin into DaVinci Resolve Lite, which is free to use. Okay. Having a look at a free option here is MSU deblocker, and you can already see that. Well, you can at least you can see the rain here, right? Compared to neat video, we're just kind of like just blurring things out. You can see that there's it's not really easy to see the rain compared to here. Of course. I'm sure you could lower the neat video denoising setting to improve this and that. Uh, also use masks. But anyway, I, I thought I'd show this free alternative and option, which is uh, again MSU Smart Deblocker. And uh, you can you can see that it does a fairly good job, but not at all the same um, look as uh, as uh, neat video has this just looks much higher resolution But again, you could use masks of, masks, of course, in both MSU and Neat Video. If we look at, let's see, if we look at the last block here, sort of, you can see how that noise behaves. And this is using MSU. You can see how that noise behaves in MSU. And if we look at Neat Video, can see that the blocks or the, the MPEG artifacts kind of like stick. I don't know why, but maybe you could run that over again or mask it or whatever uh, to get rid of that. Should work. But anyway, the, those are the differences.